So I'll, I think what would be helpful is for me to talk about like my fab finance, how we started it out. Yeah. Because I was working at the nonprofit in New York City, decided I wanted to start a blog. Mm -hmm. A blog in itself wasn't profitable. Mm -hmm. And so the first thing I did was I created printables. Printables for seven, I think it was $7. It was a fi financial planner printable. For those that un don't understand printables, Tanya, you're talking about yeah. like I create something digitally, they can download it, I sell it. Yes. Talk to us about what is a printable for people that have no idea what that means. Yes, yeah, so I had an audience and okay. they were having issues with organizing their finances. Got it. They were like, oh, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm missing my bill payments. I don't know where all my financial information is. I don't, I don't even have a budget and yeah. I don't know when they're due. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'll create something with all of those individual documents that you need in one little packet that you can download mm -hmm. and then you can print it off and you can fill it out each month. So you can just reprint it each month. Okay. So I started that and I sold those for $7. I think we maybe seven. Then we started out seven dollars, okay. and then I started selling. I was like, "Oh, I like this a little money. I don't even have to leave the house." Yeah. And so I said, "What else can I create?" So I actually started going to Pinterest to see what other people were creating mm -hmm. that I could easily create and put my spin on for my audience and offer it to them. Yeah. So then I started doing that, and then it was the one-on-one -on -one coaching that I started doing. I don't like doing one-on-one -on -one coaching now, right. but it was a mm -hmm. thing that allowed me to utilize what I knew and bring in extra money. And so for me, that was like bringing in like $50 a session, okay. which was worthwhile for me. I was doing something that I wanted to do. And then I just continued to scale and scale until I decided, okay, I want to turn this side hustle into a business. Right. But initially it was because I wasn't making enough money to invest in the stock market. I wasn't um, investing in it. I wasn't making enough money to invest in my future. Mm -hmm. So I had to side hustle so that I had the additional money to put aside into my investment accounts. Mm -hmm.